Spain, I mean, all the awards tonight are fantastic. But the Hall of Fame is something that is accumulated over a period of years, 10 years, 20 years, in this case, uh, closer to 40 years, actually. And it's a long time coming. And I've known this gentleman for quite a while. Um, in fact, he married one of my former training partners, Joanne Dijon, prior, prior to Jean. Um, Mark uh, is the uh, recipient tonight of the Hall of Fame for this year. Um, he was a graphic design uh, concentration area in the University of Delaware. He developed a lot of the logos that the club uses today for the Delaware Distance Classic, the Pike Peak Valley Running Club logo. Uh, that was his specialty. Um, in past years, he won the Outstanding Volunteer of the Year Award, which was given tonight to Mike uh, Martin. He also was an Outstanding Achievement winner. Um, but this, this race, or this, this award is long overdue. Um, I was at the picnic in August, and I just got a bolt of lightning struck me in the brain of mine, and I said, you know what, Mark Dijon really deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. So I called Joanna, and I said, give me some information. I contacted Ray, and I said, I think we have a good recipient here, and um, let's, let's go with it. And of course, you gotta go through the process, and this, but, uh, this, so without further ado, Mark, just go up and get your work. so many running club standouts over the years. In my experience, I have to say that runners are some of the friendliest people in the world. I've thoroughly enjoyed being part of the running community in one form or another most of my life, and running has been an integral part of who I am. There are many, many people who have either run with me or helped me in some way during my career, and it would keep you here too long for me to try to mention all of them, but I'd like to cite a few of them tonight. Each day before and after baseball practice in ninth grade, our coach, Bill Miles, would have us run laps on the track adjacent to our ball field to help us improve our overall fitness. I quickly began to notice that I was routinely finishing my laps ahead of my teammates. And I have to give proper credit to my lifelong best friend, Walter Duvall, and his father for noticing this and urging me to give track and field a try in high school. My college coach, Lloyd Sigler, taught me how to improve my running form. And even though I was not the best distance runner on the team and in two seasons only scored one point for the team, he always treated me like I was just as important as those who were faster or had more influence on the meet score. Throughout my 33 year career at the University of Delaware, I met so many runners, both serious and casual, which added to the joy I felt in this sport in 1980, during a Newark race on campus, I met English professor Bob Bennett. He and I formed a solid friendship and trained together for the next 20 years. Bob was 15 years my senior and an age group competitor with the likes of Hall of Famers Doug White and Bob Taggart. During my own racing pinnacle years, I took advantage of and benefited from Coach Fisher's weekly track workouts. I just can't say enough about how much I appreciate Jim for the wonderful ambassador of this sport he is, and the running mentor he's been to so many. I've enjoyed using my own graphic design talents to help the club now and then, and particularly enjoyed working with former president Vince McIntosh, as well as Dave Farron. Uh, though I'm no longer active in many of its activities, I support the club as a member, and I'm glad it seems to be doing so well through new and younger generations of runners. And finally, I thank my wife and best friend, Joanne, for introducing me to the Pike Creek Valley Running Club 39 years ago. Not only has she always supported my running, 
but after watching her complete the 1985 Marine Corps Marathon, she was the one who inspired me to run my one and only marathon. <laughs> Thanks again for this wonderful honor.